Hi, Domenica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to put the thread onto your bobbin uh, for your Elna Mini or your Janome Sew Mini and also how to load it into your sewing machine as well. Okay, so for this you'll need your bobbin and you'll need your thread as well. So we're going to start off by putting the thread onto the spool pin. So you have your spool pin back here. So you need to pull your spool pin out. And then with your thread, you need to make sure that the thread is coming off towards uh, the front of your thread rather than from the back of your thread. So make sure that the thread is running that way. Okay, so we're going to place the thread onto the spool pin there. And then we're going to bring the thread over to the thread guide here. And we're going to place it behind and then in between the little fork bit there. And then you need to make sure the thread is going under that little disc there. Okay. I'm going to grab your bobbin. And then to find one of the holes on your bobbin. And we're going to thread, put the thread through one of those one of the holes going from the inside um, out. Look at that. Okay. Like that. And then with the other hand, just hold that little tail there. Okay. I'm going to take the thread, the bobbin over to the bobbin spindle over here. And I'm going to push the bobbin down onto the spindle. Just try and put it over a bit more. And push the spindle over to the right, like that. Okay. And very carefully I'm going to push down on the foot pedal now. At the same time I'm going to be holding that thread there. Okay. Get in the right spot. And once the thread's secure, just to get your scissors or your snips and just cut that thread off there. Now I find if your thread isn't going on the bobbin evenly, just while it's threading, just guide it up to the top every now and then just so it threads on evenly. Okay, so once you've got um, uh, the amount of thread that you need on your bobbin. Just push the spindle back over to the left, pull the bobbin off, and then you can snip your thread. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to load the bobbin into your machine. Okay, so next we'll need to load the bobbin into the sewing machine. So the first thing you'll need to do is remove the cover plate here. And I've got the bobbin that we, that we just put thread onto. Now before you put your bobbin into your machine, you need to make sure that the thread is running in a counterclockwise or anticlockwise direction. Okay, and to remember that easily, when you hold up your bobbin and when you hold the thread down, it should look like the letter P. So just think of the letter P when you go to put your bobbin in your machine. Okay, so I'm going to place the bobbin in the machine there. And you'll see that there's a little notch right here. Your thread needs to go oops, into that little notch there. And then it needs to go off towards the left. And there's a little arrow on the machine here to remind you that that's where it needs to go. And these are your um, spring tension blades. So it's really important for the tension that the thread is running between the tension blades here. Now when I do that, I just like to have one finger on the bobbin to stop it from spinning. And just pull your thread through there, like that. Okay. So you can put your cover plate back on. And the next thing we'll need to do is thread the top of the sewing machine. <laughs> 